Good evening, and welcome back to the 30 days of Halloween. Today we're going to, or tonight I should say, we're going to d dig into the dashing, mysterious Count Dracula, played by Bela Lugosi in the movies. So as it goes, after hypnotizing a, Brit a British soldier by the name of Renfield, and as his mindless slave, the duo travels to London and takes up residence in an old castle. Soon Dracula begins to wreak havoc, sucking the blood of young women and turning them into vampiresses. When he sets his sights on many, played by Helen Chandler, the daughter of a prominent doctor. The doctor is having none of this, so he hires Van Helsink, the vampire hunter, to put a stop to the Count's never-ending lust. Bloodlust, that is. <laughs> So what we have here is the Nika Count Dracula figure. This is a really awesome figure with quite a bit of accessories. Comes with his top hat. Cain, this nice cape, very soft, it's got like this horseshoe on it where it just sticks right onto the back of his neck, pretty convenient. Just snaps right on and off. Pretty cool. And he has this classic tuxedo. Nice shiny shoes. You can sprawl out a little bit. Not quite full Claude Van Damme, but pretty close. Limited feet movement and his legs bend to about there at the knee. Not a whole lot of movement, but you don't need much movement with this figure. Mostly for posing and displays. He's got the infamous claw hand. When he tells his victims to come here. Classic line in the movie. As you see, he's got many victims already. Comes with a snarl head sculpt. Pretty menacing. Then he's got his more more of his wise guy look. He's like, yeah, right, you're gonna kill me. And he comes with two sets of white gloved hands. Got a nice ring on it. Pointer, pointer finger. He's got a couple other claw hands in gray. And 
one more of a fifth claw hand in gray also. But this character comes in black and white and there's also a color version. <clears throat> I just I just like the color or the black and white version better. It's more uh suited to the movies. This is a 1931 Universal Universal's first talking horror picture about a Transylvania shapeshifter. A little bit about the story. On February 12th of 1931, a profound change occurred in American entertainment. All throughout the silent era, monstrous and frightening characters had been standard fixtures of the movies. But without exception, they were presented as flesh and blood people, and any apparent manifestation of the supernatural always had a rational explanation, usually revolving around an elaborate criminal conspiracy. But as the lights came up at New York's Roxy Theater, the packed house must have been a bit dumbfounded at what they had just seen. In a short epilogue to the strange film, one of the actors stepped forth in front of a motion picture screen and attempted to reassure the audience. And I quote, When you get home tonight and you are afraid to look behind the curtains, and you dread to see a face at the window. Why, just pull yourself together and remember, after all, there are such things. <laughs> never, be never before had American audiences been asked to accept a purely supernatural premise, and there was no guarantee of a positive response in that era. So this here is a Dracula box set that I purchased some time ago. Got the menacing Dracula look. It's got about five movies in it. It's got the original Dracula from 1931. It's also got a documentary, The Road to Dracula. Then it has Dracula's Daughter from 1936. And then The Son of Dracula from 1943. And The House of Dracula in 1945. Pretty nice box set. Then he came in this nice... NECA box, A Nightmare of Horror, Dracula. Got a nice picture of him on the side grimacing. And four other nice shots of him. So in conclusion, they did cast Lon Chaney Sr. to play the role of Dracula, but Chaney unfortunately was dying of lung cancer. So the next choice was Bella Lugosi, which would seem to have been the next natural choice, being a Hungarian actor and all. So there were there were a couple of other films, Mark of the Vampire, <clears throat> London After Midnight, and Vampires of Prague. 
I've not seen any of those. They're pretty old. I don't know if you could even find them. So Bella Lugosi in his dying days. After his death in 1956, his family requested that he be buried in full costume and makeup as Count Dracula. So in short, are you guys watching Dracula this year? What movies are you entertaining this Halloween? Let us know in the comments. And until the next one, happy haunting. <laughs>